Cause you're different Cause you're something I have I know you're with me, baby Till we find ourselves Find ourselves Cause you're different Good morning guys. So a lot of people ask me about time management and how I can get up so early in the morning and all that but I actually have a lot of trouble getting up in the morning. I'm really not a natural morning person. It takes a lot of tools. I'll show you guys what I use. So you guys know my Withings watch. Um, this has a built-in alarm clock so it vibrates at the time that you designate it um, so that it can gently wake you up. I usually also have several alarms set up on my phone. Usually I like to have a little bit of a cushion like snooze time. I find that to be just like psychologically comforting to know that I can snooze so I know it's not the best habit but I do snooze on my phone. And I have my sunrise alarm clock which I think is the best way to wake up. This, this alarm clock will gradually start to brighten about 30 minutes before I'm supposed to wake up. And it's pretty effective, I think. It really wakes my body up. And you can set it to either play the radio or has some sounds that it can wake you up with. Like, has some bird noises and some like wave noises and things like that. Lastly, I have my uh, alarm clock from Ikea. This has like the most terrible sound. And this one is like my last resort. I only use it maybe like a couple of times a month. Usually all these other things that I have will wake me up. Um, this is sort of my just in case alarm and it's pretty terrible to wake up to. <laughs> So I'm headed out to my office now. I got my breakfast and have my lunch here. I have my gym bag in here. I have my water bottle in here and I'm ready for the day. Hey Kendi, tell me about your day. You must play a cute trick before I can give you food. You must perform. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Hi guys, I'm back from my office. I It's about 3.45. It was a shorter day because it's Friday. I'm going to do a uh, leg workout. I'm going to try to do like an easier, more beginner friendly workout, um, something that you can do without a ton of equipment. And then after that, I'm gonna go to Costco and do some grocery shopping. So this is a book that I like to look at if I want some ideas on uh, what to work out and what workouts to try. So this is the Women's Health Big Book of Exercises. I'll link the book down below in the description box. There's the same one for men's health, which is almost page for page the same thing. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. Um, different chapters target different parts of the body and it has all these exercises. Um, so it tells you um, what's a good form and how to do each exercises and also variations of the same exercises depending on what equipment you have and your skill level. So some with the bozu ball, some with the swiss ball, a lot of options. There's a ton of exercises in here and part of you know getting used to working out and starting out is just trying different things out and finding out what works for your body and what you're comfortable with and having all these options is really helpful so I definitely recommend this book.
from the gym and I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping now. I'm gonna stay home and do some video editing. So I'm back from the grocery store. Um, so it's Friday night and I'm taking it kind of easy. Um, I have a full day of studying tomorrow because my exam is about a week away. Um, so what I'm really doing tonight is planning out what I'm going to study tomorrow so I don't waste any time when I get to school tomorrow to study. I'm also planning out next week because I know next week's gonna be really busy. So I'm just um, writing out where I'm gonna be, what I have to do, um, some of the last minute stuff before this rotation is over. So next I want to share with you guys some of the items that I have on my online shop. Um, I'm gonna show you guys three items a little more in detail, um, a little more detail than what you can see from the picture so you guys can get a better idea of what the items look like and how I'm using those items. So the first thing I want to talk about is my to-do list. You guys have seen my to-do list in a lot of the videos already. This to-do list is cool because it comes in a notebook format so you can fold it up and bring it with you to school or library or cafe. Um, but the really cool thing about this to-do list is that it has a bottom fold that folds up. It stands up on its own and you can have the list in front of you wherever you are and you can get everything on your to-do list done. The next item I'm going to talk about is a desk weekly planner. And this planner is meant to be on your desk. It's not really meant for carrying around with you, but it's meant to stay on your desk by your computer so that you can kind of plan out your week and um, create little checklists and um, write down where you're going to be and what you're going to do that day generally um, so that you can be more organized when you're at home. My favorite part about this planner is that it doesn't have the dates written in so some of the weeks where you don't really need a planner and you don't really have a lot going on you can actually just skip that week and start fresh from the following Monday so there are 60 pages in this one planner so it, you can use it for over a year if you use it every week or you can use it for even longer if you're not using it every week so there's a month section that you circle and then you just write the dates um, of the week and you can keep yourself organized that way. It also comes in a lot of different paper patterns which are really pretty. Um, last thing I'm going to talk about are the multi pens. You guys know I'm a huge fan of multi pens um, but the multi pens that I've been seeing in the US um, are very limited in color so I really want to find some multi pens that have just different colors so that you can really organize your notes and add a little bit of individuality into it. So. Um, the first one is a basic one, and that's a basic one that you will use for probably most of your notes. This one has the black ink, blue ink, and the red ink. And then I got two other pens that are neon colors. Neon A has the neon yellow, blue, and pink in it. And the blue and pink are dark enough that you can really write with it and take notes. The yellow is uh, more like a highlighter color, so it's nice to highlight some text with a thinner pen. Um, so that's what I, I would use it for. Neon B has neon orange, purple, and green, and these are all dark enough that you can take notes with them. But these are also great for underlining text and writing notes on the side. So these three multi-pens, um, I think they're really versatile. I love the way it feels when you write with them, um, and I highly recommend them. So all the items that I just mentioned can be found at www.thestrivetofit.com slash shop. Um, there are some other items that I didn't talk about in there as well if you guys want to check it out. I know a lot of you guys have asked about international shipping and I'm working really hard to make that happen. Um, but I'm thinking most likely after my shelf exam, which is on Friday. But once the exam is done, um, I'll be in my winter break. So I'll have a little more time to work on the shipping stuff. So I'm going to close the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This Vlogmas has been really fun and I'm really enjoying myself and I hope you guys are liking it as well. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!